What's going on, IAG Farm family? Glad to have y'all back again for another video. And as y'all can see, we had a grill going back behind us. <laughs> we got a good, nice fire going on back there. It's hot, burning my neck. I make sure I'm not on fire. But uh, the fire is going good back there. As y'all know, when I uh, fire the grill up, I make my own coals. I don't like to use charcoal and any prefab type stuff. I just use real wood from the property that I split myself, dried out myself. And uh, we're just getting that wood cooked down. And we're, not, we're also cleaning off our grill grates while that wood cooks down the coals. And then we, uh, once that wood cooks down the coals, y'all know that we take smaller chunks of wood, probably pecan or something like that. We might smoke, uh, I have to see if I have a little cherry. Maybe we'll smoke this meat in cherry. I have a, a Boston butt, big old Boston butt <laughs> that uh, Megan was about to throw in a crock pot and, and, and make a roast out of it. And I told her, I said, don't worry about it. I handle it, <laughs> just let me have this. Just let, let, let me cook dinner today. And uh, so she gave me the rights to go ahead and fire the grill up. I hadn't fired the grill up in a while, uh, probably, man. Whew. Four or five months. Let me walk away from this grill. It's hot. <laughs> that thing going good. Make sure there ain't nothing on fire on the backside. Yeah, I get, I get that grill going good when I when I'm making coals. Like I said, it's a big grill, so you can have a big fire on a big grill. Yeah, the boys in there doing homeschool, and I'm gonna release them a little bit early today. We're gonna try to enjoy ourselves for the rest of the day. Let them get done with homeschool, and I also have a little project that I need to do inside of Emma. I do that while I'm waiting for the grill to get ready. I'm just gonna patch some uh, some sheetrock uh, behind the, where the refrigerator should go, where that plug is at, so there won't be a big open uh, hole back there because our refrigerator and our, the rest of our appliances should be here uh, next week, I think, Monday or Tuesday. So I need to get that done because if we put the refrigerator there, I have to get all about it and forget that there's a big old hole in the wall behind it. So yeah, I get that little spot of uh, sheetrock patched. We'll get this Boston butt prepared, get, get our charcoal on the grill ready, get us some smaller cuts cut up, and then we're just like I said, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves and we'll just take y'all along for the process, let y'all see what this meat turns out like. It's always fun to do a a, a smoking or grilling video. That's that's some of my favorites, but I hadn't had a chance to do, do those type videos in a while because I've been so busy focused on Emma. But uh time is ticking down and we're almost done. You know, uh we're starting to like get comfortable inside of Emma. And so I can start to do it, do some of those things that I enjoy doing again. <laughs> Firewood, tractor work running the chainsaw, uh, barbecuing, all those good things. I'm gonna put y'all down for a minute and I'll pick y'all up when we get ready to prepare this Boston butt or, or either when I start working on the sheetrock. So y'all just join us for this journey today. It's IG Farms, it's all about God. I got that pork butt seasoned up and head on out here. Outside, my grill should be about ready by now. Go ahead and see what the boys are doing. <clears throat> but yeah, get these, uh, you all right, no? Huh? You all right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, go out here and get this, this wood broke down to charcoal. It should be about ready. And then get my grill set at the right temperature. I'll probably smoke it at about, about 250, something like that. And uh, do it for about three or four hours. Just depending on, uh, you know, the temperature and how how hot I can keep the grill. Cause with, you know, grilling with a with, with real wood on a big grill like this, you really you, sometimes the temperature like goes up and down real bad, and uh, so you have to work with it a little bit. But once you get it firing right, it's good. Oh yeah, the, the, the coals look good. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Let me get a stick and break that up. Let's see. But yeah, I should be able to hit it, everything, and it should break up. I actually might have a little bit too many coals in here. Get them pushed all over to that side. It's on fire. Oh, yeah, it's hot in there. Whoa. Anything I put in there gonna catch fire. <laughs> all right, so let me put this camera down for a second and get these coals broke up. All right, y'all, I got all my coals broke up over there. As you can see, everything is broke down, the coals. And uh, the grill is so hot right now. It's running a little bit too high. 
It said 400. I need to get it down to 250. <laughs> it was already hot outside. So uh, let me lift this side and see how hot it is. Oh, yeah, it's hot. I gotta get my gloves. Everything is hot right now. If I can lift that up. As you can see, I have my side over here where I'm gonna put my Boston butt it. And then I have my offset smoke, uh, offset fire over here, flame over here. And uh, I'm gonna let that cook down just a little bit more and let the grill kind of cool off a little bit because it's super hot. It's at 400 degrees right now. But I'm gonna give it about 30 more minutes and then I'll come out here with the Boston butt and get it put on this side once all that gets cooked down enough to where I can get my right temperature. All right, it's getting real now. Got this big old two pound pork butt. <laughs> getting ready to go on the grill. Get this thing smoking so I can get it done by dinner time so Megan won't be mad at me. But nah, she's gonna be good. Boys, gonna put, gonna put the meat on the grill. I said then Titus said then he wants me to video him beating him in basketball. So we're gonna go over here and watch this basketball game while we wait on the uh, <laughs> the meat to cook. But let me uh, put y'all down just for a second so I can get this meat on this grill because it's heavy and uh, this grill is hot. All right, y'all, we got our pork butt on. I had to work with the grill a little bit. I'm still running a little bit over temperature. As you see, I'm at about 320 now. And uh, it's, it should go down after a while because I just, I just closed it down so it's a little bit hotter. Let me open it up and show y'all. Everything's so hot right now. I got to put my, my glove on. <laughs> open it up and show y'all this pork butt on the grill as y'all see have our pork butt on the grill there and our fires over there i got one piece of uh pecan wood over there and uh we're just gonna shut it down and let it smoke for about an hour or two and then wrap it in aluminum foil for another hour or two and then unwrap it for that last hour and just let it lock everything in so i'm gonna go and shut this down and we'll pick y'all up in a minute all right, Tim and Ty's are about to play a basketball game and I'm the referee because Tim likes to foul. And I just wanna sing well, you, you do foul. Yeah, I'm going through. That's moving All right, let's go. Sing a thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Birds flying free. Fish in the sea. Flowers and trees. Every little bumblebee. I want to sing. Ooh, Titus. How about that, Titus? That was a good move that time. Gotta tighten up, Tim. Oh, to the kids playing hoops. Going loop to loop. The rainbow colored bouncy balls and their ice cream scoops. Got my shoes in my hand and my feet. All right, game point. Did y'all get? Is he gonna make it? Ooh, chest bump, chest bump, chest bump, chest bump. Chest bump. Woo. <laughs> Good job, buddy. High five. Y'all wanna play another? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, out. Bragging about. I'm gonna beat Tim in football. He, he too basketball. He too worried about bra bragging. You were just bragging uh, off camera, so don't, don't, don't try to make it seem like uh, you weren't bragging too. You were bragging, then he beat you, then he started bragging, you beat him. So what's the moral of that story? The person that do the most bragging lose, huh? Y'all shake hands. Say good game. Good game. All right, all right. All right, y'all. We'll pick y'all up a little bit later on this barbecue. Look who's here. Hello. <laughs> What's up, IG family? Yep, Megan's excited about this uh, roast out here. She got to gotta come out and check on it, make sure I'm not messing it up. Excited. When I got here, I went straight to the roast. Yeah. <laughs> the boys came out of Emma like, what, where is she going? What is she yeah, doing? Yeah, she was walking by. She didn't even come in and say, hey, we're sitting this out of Emma. She was going down to check on me. I was. I was trying to see what temperature he had this grill in because, you know, I had been doing a lot of our smoking back when we were smoking. We kind of been on a break from smoking for a while. Just really, really grinding and being focused on Emma and the other things the Lord has us doing. But I had kind of been smoking. 
And so, you know, he's like the smoke master. Oh, so yeah. this is his first time back smoking in a while. And I was like, I got to see what he's going to like bring to the table. I'm excited. She's trying to see if the temperature is too high. That means that she's going to have to make a roast out of it and <laughs> cut it in slices. And if the temperature is low, that means we're going to have pulled Pool pork. Pulled pork. Because <laughs> it's going to be a little bit tougher if the temperature is high. We're pretty but, uh, much going to have pulled pork today, I think. Yeah, we're, we're going to make something out of it. Yeah. We're going to see. We're at the right temperature now, though. 250. Uh, and now right. we're just going to get... The, the pork butt wrapped in foil and then we'll shut it down for about two more hours and then check on it again we'll turn y'all around and let y'all see what it looks like so i'm trying to see whether or not i'm gonna have pool pork where it's like falling apart fall, falling apart pork or pork sandwiches or like, yeah cut sliced. cut sliced <laughs> you can't mess it up oh man remember that time that we um went and we're like oh okay we'll just leave we'll come back and check in an hour we're going oh, on this yeah, garden tour burnt to crisp yeah grill caught check fire it Woo good so far. i think that looks good that's like an a plus i would give that an a plus mm -hmm. now the thing is you know, get it uh -oh. <laughs> see look we've gotten sent like oven mitts and all types of <laughs> Stuff they're gonna be mad at us. With. Oh, yeah. Well, I need like some fireproof uh, gloves, like, yeah. rubber gloves. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be hot. Okay, let me just kind of get it out the way a little bit. That looks so good. Man, gotta have tough hands. <laughs> Man, ain't got no business yeah. saying Man, something saying too out. hot. Okay. Ouch, 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 ouch. You so crazy. Ooh. Too fun. Yeah, Tim was saying he was glad to be able to revive some of like the old timey ways and sayings. Cause can't you see an old man sitting on his porch like, man ain't got no business <laughs> using the tongue to roast his pork butt. <laughs> Nowadays, all men do is complain. Why? Man, they ain't got no business complaining about something. <laughs> you, be in, you be in the grocery store or something? Well, I don't be in the grocery store. <laughs> if you be in line somewhere, I paint that store. You be in line somewhere. You can tell when the, when the man ain't got no business store is coming. My voice changed. You be in line somewhere, and Joker be behind you complaining. Talking about we've been standing in line too long. <laughs> well, you were just born. You ain't <laughs> Too long. You know how it is though. You, you you can't even go you can't even pay in cash anymore. You know, cause you can't count your money. Cause everybody got them little cards, you know. You pull out some cash and start counting your money and then you go, it's like they say, uh, you know, twenty two dollars and fifty cent. Fifty cent, I got changed, you know. You can't do that anymore in the store. <laughs> the folks behind you will like jump. Oh, they be like, you, know <laughs> you, can't, you can't pull no change, I start counting change. Y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm You got me wrong. I'm not even getting any good recording of you. I'm too busy laughing at you. Oh, uh, yeah. To, to video uh, the actual wrapping process. <laughs> Gotta get it wrapped so I don't lose too much juice. Oh, yeah. That's very important. But y'all see what it looks like when they get it wrapped. Mm hmm. He just kind of overlapped those two pieces of foil, and now he's just wrapping it on up. It's a boy. Put another bed. There you go. Pig in a blanket. Yeah, yeah. The boy's trying to figure out why do they call it a pork butt. Titus yeah. thought we thought were saying butt like, you know, butt with like bow ass. Oh, okay. I was like, no, like butt that you sit on. You know. But he's you, like, no, it can't be called pork butt. But you know the pork butt is actually the, the shoulder. shoulder. Now, thing. how strange is that? Mm -hmm. I can't figure it out. Did y'all know that that the pork butt is actually a shoulder? Let us know in the comments if you knew that already. <laughs> you would think it would be the, the rear end of the hand. Right, heart. yeah. But, the, but those are the hams. Hams. Yep. So you got the hams on the back and the shoulders are called butts. Yeah, trying to figure it out. I think we read up on that one day why they call it Boston butt. Yeah. Yep, yep. I use all this for. I can't remember anything. That's fine. You you can use it. Oh, my fool. <laughs> a woman ain't got no business complaining if her husband is cooking. 
that's the thing about when I cook <laughs> Meg and she always like goes above and beyond saying, this food is so good. <laughs> and, uh, I went back when I was working in the barber shop. I, I was telling the, uh, you know, my fellow barbers that, you know, my wife, she like, oh, my cooking. And a uh, dude who been married, because I was just married like two years at that time. And I met the guy who was married for like years and years, 10 years or something like that. He was like, do she say this? He was like, do she say this? He was like, oh, yeah, I know what's going on. My wife did me the same way. She just saying that so you won't stop cooking. <laughs> he said, that food probably really nasty. But she ain't going to say that. And then you go, she going to hurt your feelings when you're going to stop cooking. Because that women been using that trick for a long time. Oh. You can't well, tell well, well, everything, well, man. Woman ain't going to tell you the truth now. Remember what I told you about secrets. Exactly. Okay. Can't, can't tell you know, everything. Let, let a woman tell it. You look good every day. <laughs> Sound good, smell good. She ain't gonna tell you stink. <laughs> oh. She gonna tell you what you wanna hear until y'all get to argue. Then she gonna bring it all up. <laughs> I don't like your nasty food no way. <laughs> like, what? Where'd that come from? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> so funny. You got it wrapped up. See, I'm, I'm too I'm, busy I'm, I'm laughing at you. Uh, one more. Okay, you you, going, you really I'm are that, using I'm all my fork. Doing a T, you know, and then I'm folding those. Okay, so you got to do the other side. So that, you know. I and then wrap the juice. other side. Because you know what happens when you lose juice. I do. It dries, it dries out. out the meat. Mm -hmm. So I do not want that to happen. You don't have to worry about your fire staying hot. You got the grill open so long, but it is summertime, and... It's probably about as hot out here as it is in the grill. <laughs> I was sure thinking that when I first got here, I was like, "Woo, you could have cooked that meat outside. Um, I can't remember what side is up and down. My goal was to have the fat side up, but I haven't flipped it so many times. Huh? Yeah. Who cares? All right, get this closed down and we'll get everything back up to temperature. Like, are we barbecuing or are we like just having a IAG chat? I think we're having an IAG chat. Folks gonna get us, cause we I didn't get much barbecuing to go under there. We've been doing a lot of talking over these last couple of videos. Folks gonna get us. Yeah, well, listen, we'll have some barbecue at the end of it, hopefully. But you know something I realized, though, about the comments? What's that? I realized that we get, you know, somewhere between 50 to 100,000 views per video. Mm -hmm. But we only get about 3,000 comments. Mm -hmm. And then most of the comments are good. And it might be like maybe... 50 comments, something like that. that, are like, that many. It, yeah. It's like it's like five comments that yeah. just psycho, psycho, like crazy. <laughs> it's like, you know, 30 of them that's like just a little bit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not even talking about the psycho crazy ones that you just like delete, you know, and hide that person, block that person from the channel. I'm talking about the ones just a little bit crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I realized that it's only a small percentage of people like that, that comment negatively. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? very small percentage. So like out of 100,000 people that's watching, it's like, 30 or 40 people that's making crazy comments. <laughs> so I realized that, you know. Yeah. That's not a big majority. No, it's not. Y'all are awesome. We love y'all, for real. And you, you, we have so many people that are just sit, sitting back, watching, enjoying us, praying for us, cheering on mm -hmm. us on and supporting us. They may never uh, write a comment. That's right. And we know that. And we People sending offerings and yes, gifts and sending yes, the boys stuff. Yes, we are. Yeah. completely like blessed and y'all just shower y'all's love on us all the time what right. you going for some more wood i was into but i remember that i killed a black widow down there earlier. okay yeah don't don't reach for that pile please sir i reached for it as least as i have to it had a good they had a shop set up too like it was big old spider web wow it was so big you know it got some babies somewhere oh no yeah we have uh black widows here on the farm we're not sure if we brought them in some hay or if they were already here. Probably a combination yeah, they're, of they're both. They're always in the hay. Yeah. If you go pick up a hay bale that's been sitting there for a while, you can guarantee yeah. it's going to be black widows. That's why I try to handle them myself because black widows, as long as you're healthy healthy and strong, you don't have to worry about them. But like small children mm -hmm. or somebody that got a sickness. Right. Might take them out. There you go. Coal's looking good. Look at that. You would think he bought that charcoal. Yeah. That charcoal looks so good. Come I might, on. I might man. sell charcoal one day. Oh yeah. Cause I, I already thought about doing like uh, smoker wood. Yeah, like wood chips or small pieces uh -huh. for smoking. Have it in like a little, you know, 
a Ziploc, what, what do they call it? Vacuum seal yeah. bag. Mm -hmm. Like five dollar size bag. Mm hmm Yeah. IAG charcoal or something. Yeah. All right, let me go. IAG grilling. Is that that way up? I do see that. that at this, at this yeah, point, I have to take yep. my sunglasses off so I can see. Spider web there. Let me just back up. Man, I ain't got no business being scared of black wolf. Okay. All right, now. <laughs> Is that pecan? Yep. Oh, yeah. So he's trying to create a little bit more smoke, I think. It's really heat now. Heat. Just keeping it up on temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess since we had the grill open for so long. So it like I might see one crawling in the wood. Yeah, if you see one, it won't be crawling for oh, long. Yeah, for real. All right, y'all, we got some more wood on the grill, and now we're just trying to get the grill back up to temperature so we can shut it down. We're gonna let it smoke for another two hours or so, and um, Tim's gonna try to not get bit by a spider over there. Please don't get bit by a spider. <laughs> but anyway, we're just having fun grilling, smoking, really, smoking this meat, and um, I'm enjoying it. Good, good morning. What? What are you talking about, boy? The sun's finna sit. Look at where the sun's at. Just in the morning time, the sun over there, Tyson. Is that the moon? Oh, no, nah, that's, that's a cloud. Good morning. Y'all can play. I'm waiting on mama to come out with my uh, temperature probe thing. What you think, though? No? You think? <laughs> All right, mama's here. What's going on, good looking? Oh, thank you. I found your hat and I brought you some. Thank you. All right, let's get this meat check. Let's do this. Awesome. Yeah, you can take the camera. Yeah, Dad, uh, Titus found it. I was like, has anybody seen Dad's hat? I woke up from a nap, I had combed my hair, so I put my hat back on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's what I like. Yeah. You know, you go to the Honey Bag Ham place, oh, I think that yeah. their foil is gold. Yeah. But uh, it's not gold for that reason. Yeah, they have an artificial gold. <laughs> That smell. Oh man. Mm. Oh, it's on Celsius. Oh, I was gonna say. I was like, I don't know how it got flipped around. I was gonna say, we, uh, we got uh -oh. a long way to go. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. That was gonna be a huge oops. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. About 140. About right. Yeah. So is that about right? You pleased with that? Yeah, please. All right. I'm yeah. pleased with the look and the smell. Right, I'm saying that before now. The man will fire the drill back up, leave it back on for about two more hours, and then let it just start to, you know, get soft and get a little bit more smoke on it. Get up to around 190. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I saw that uh 50 degrees, I was like, what? Yes, yeah, on Celsius. <laughs> We can you that's how long it's been since we used it. <laughs> With the bottom side, all right. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good looking piece of meat. Fire back up. Oh yeah. Is that for me? Come on, right here. Oh, yeah, I got coals. That's, why, that's why I built the fire so big in the beginning, so that I can have coals. I think Tim was hours. coming for you. Or Junior was coming. Is something in there? Uh, 
See those calls, buddy? Don't sleep on that. <laughs> Just give me one second now. I saw you was in there. <laughs> Why is it smoking so much? All right, we smoking meat. We just want to talk. These kids. These are our kids, y'all. <laughs> That belong to us. That must not be my kid talking about. Y'all yeah, smoking meat? Why are they smoking? <laughs> son, son, this time it's soaking meat? Uh, it's so. That flame. There it comes. I'm going to have to get that. Um, huh? I'm. A, this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna get you one of those fireplace kits oh, yeah. that has a little, a little thing. thing. Yeah. yeah nice. I probably wouldn't use it. I'd be just like you uh, with the cart. <laughs> Grumpy yeah. and stubborn. Yeah, you know, you know, we like to do stuff a certain way. <laughs> We've been doing this long this way, so we keep on doing it. Yeah. All right, so we're getting the grill fire back up. We're gonna get it back up to temperature, mm -hmm. start the clock, and then uh, in about two hours, we should be done. All right, sounds good. Pick y'all up in about two more hours. Alrighty. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. We're better off tomorrow. But who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to the fire in your heart and your soul. Don't drench your desire in what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard together. And we might, we might be lost but not forever. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end, the end, the end. Would you like to walk and talk a little bit? I would Maybe, maybe you can share something the Lord has on your heart while we On this last little segment before we oh, yeah pick up an end on the next segment sure 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 great idea great mm -hmm. idea i was just uh really you know a lot of times on these walk and talks i talk about when the lord's challenging my idea of something you know, baby, baby, no. or my definition of something and the lord has been stretching what it means to serve and he gave me an example of a servant and his name is stephen and in Acts chapter 6, if you read about Stephen, um, the disciples were um, just had a lot, you know. And they chose some more men, you know, of good report that could take over some of the other things for them. And there were actually some uh, groups that were complaining that their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food because the early church... When they started and they were serving Jesus, they made sure everyone's needs were taken care of. They would sell all they had and give it to the church and the, the money would be dispersed and the food would be dispersed so that everyone was taken care of. And so there were groups complaining that their widows were being neglected. And so um, there were, because the disciples really couldn't get involved, there were some other men chosen to do this. And Stephen was one of them. And so literally, he was chosen to serve tables. But then, if you read in Acts chapter 7, some of the things that Stephen encountered, he wasn't just serving mm -hmm. tables. He was preaching the gospel every single place he went, everything he did to the point where they wanted to like take him out. Like they set him up. They said it was blaspheming. Um... They just wanted to take him out because his idea of serving wasn't to keep his mouth shut 
Uh, and just, you know, like, okay. All, all they told me I can do is serve tables, right. so I can't do all nothing else. All I can do is, uh, you know, give this uh, food to the widows. That'll be, no. a, that, that'll be a good man, ain't got no business <laughs> quote right no. there. But this is Megan's segment, so shut he up, Tim. Knew, he knew his calling. He knew his calling was to preach the gospel. And that it came in different forms, mm -hmm. you know. But he was a man that was like, whatever opportunity that I have to share about Jesus, I'm going to do it. I'm going to squeeze it in. I'm going to, you know, be who God created me to be. And so Stephen, y'all, really challenged me with his life and what he did with his position. Because a lot of times we look at something like serving tables as lowly. Like the disciples, they were too busy for that. No, he was doing the same thing the disciples were doing. You know, he was just allotted a responsibility of serving tables. So, anyway, I just, I love that. I love it when the Lord comes and just challenges my perspective or my ideas or my little box mm -hmm. that I put myself in or my little box that I put other people in. And it's like, hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> You actually have it wrong. <laughs> here, here, here. Let me expand your perspective. Let me, you know, open your eyes. Let me shed light and um, kind of blow your mind. Don't you love that? Don't you love it when the Lord kind of blows your mind with something and gives you another way of thinking about it or another perspective? Because uh, that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? As Christians, renewing our minds, right? Transforming our minds into like godly ways of thinking through his word and leaving behind like ungodly stuff you know worldly ways of thinking so we're supposed to be transforming and conforming to god's way and you know leaving behind our old self and old ways so that's really what the lord has been yeah as you were talking about steve and serving tables I just thought back to, you know, some of the ministry that we we used to do in the city. Mm -hmm. And uh and I've actually talked about that before, like I was grumpy <laughs> about other folks being grumpy. <laughs> you know, we're feeding homeless or, you know, feeding just people that's in need or just yeah. not even people just feeding people, you know, fellowshipping. Yeah. And uh sometimes as Christians, we do those things half heartedly. Mm -hmm. You know, we grumble and we just throw the plate to the person or not throw it, but just kinda like you know, you can tell it's not it's, it, rush through it, rush like, through it right, try, trying to get it done, feed, exactly, like, instead of like feed. speaking to the person and just like, you know, ministering to that person in that place, mm -hmm. you know, when, you, when you're handing them, handing them that plate, right, because right. Your, your ministry may just be, you know, smiling or, mm -hmm. you know, having a good attitude or yeah. asking them how they're doing or, you know, yeah. you, you can say a quick prayer in line, but you, you rush through it, you know, right, trying to get that right. that thing done, just trying to, like, serve the right. table because that's what I'm here to do. Right, thinking and, that and, that's the soul. Uh-huh, and yeah. you don't, you end up not, like, doing what Stephen did and mm -hmm. saying, I'm not just here to serve tables. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm here to preach the gospel. Amen. So if an opportunity comes, and preaching the gospel is not just merely with words, you know, it tells us to preach the gospel with word and demonstration. Mm -hmm. And so we can demonstrate God's power. You know, by showing love, by smiling, by being courteous and generous. And, you know, I, I've been in because uh, before when we were uh, doing ministry, you know, after uh, preaching, I would be preaching with words and going to different places. Right. And they would be feeding homeless. And uh, I would be in line, you know, and I wasn't homeless. But we were just there and we were at a fellowship. And uh, there was a, a lady in our ministry that would, that would feed us. She would give us meals every Sunday after service. You know, uh, that was her way of giving back you know she might not have money but she could cook you know mm -hmm. everybody knew this lady mm -hmm. for her ability to cook mm -hmm. and so um she would give us meals so we had food already but we were at this place ministering like guest ministering that day and uh so we got in line to get plates and uh, i went you know we had three kids so i went and got my plate put my plate down and then i went back and got back in line again to get megan's plate because she was watching the kids she couldn't leave the kids and uh they, they about fought me in that line for <laughs> not the the people that were being served but the servers you know what i'm saying because uh they thought i was trying to get two plates for myself and i'm like hey didn't i just get through ministering here and hey my wife is over there with three kids i didn't say anything though no. i just you know was just like, it's just i was fine. ready to go at that point i was ready uh -huh. to go i just sat down and i was like that's that's why i don't get in these lines i'm, <laughs> I'm not that, that that's why i'm yeah. glad i'm not a beggar i wouldn't be a good beggar <laughs> yeah. yeah i'd be one of them fist fighting beggars yeah, the grumpy beggars 
was just trying to sit down and fellowship, fellowship. with right. the atmosphere because I had the kids and you know mm -hmm. we never got to that point where we could just relax and sit yeah, down. Yeah, they, they, they think we're trying to get two plates. It's like, but 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 it wasn't just because if it would have just been me in line, it would have been different because we had a personal relationship with you know the ministry and the people there. But uh, you know. It was so much going on, you know, and it's probably was people in line getting double plates and trying to trying get, to get more, more, you know, yeah, but I got, was. but that person was so like riled up already that once they saw my face, it was like, you're another one of them. It was mm -hmm. like, nah, bro, I'm just trying to get a plate for my wife. <laughs> for real. But yeah, it's so easy to do that. It's so mm -hmm. easy to miss out on opportunities mm -hmm. that God has for us just because we're rushing through thinking our duty is really one thing. Yep. When he's actually, that duty is just an opportunity to do something else. Mm -hmm. So, I just, I have to learn from that, you know. That's the area I have to grow in. A lot of times, y'all, these walking talks, I'm learning. I'm trying to grow in these areas that I'm sharing with y'all. So, that's, that's it, you know. It's just something I have to grow in and learn how to just breathe, be in that moment, and mm -hmm. let Jesus, like, come out and minister through right. me. You know, listen. If I was preaching on Sunday, and I was preaching this sermon right here, I would name it: "Make an opportunity out of that duty, or turn mm. that duty into, into an, an opportunity." opportunity. That's Everybody good. say it with me. Say, "Make that duty <laughs> an, an opportunity." opportunity. <laughs> I love that. Because you said that. You said that's really good. Uh -huh. Make that do. That's good. Yeah. Like that's super, super good. Uh -huh. Like super good because I, that just goes into every part of my life. Uh -huh. You know, because we have so many responsibilities and so many duties y'all and it's like we could be just looking at them all wrong mm -hmm. you know like how do we turn this duty into an, into opportunity. an opportunity turn that duty into an opportunity and you know what it might it might not even just be an opportunity uh, to minister to someone else yeah it could be an opportunity for the lord to minister to you that's right come on yeah. And that's 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 it right there. I think we listen. Y'all thought y'all were getting barbecue meat. Y'all didn't know y'all was getting I'm spiritual getting meat. That's exciting, y'all. Y'all thought y'all finna get some uh, what 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 is it? Milk for the babes. Oh yeah. It's like we we passed milk now. We on we on meat. Turning that duty into an opportunity. Opportunity, right? So not hey, just serving. You but, didn't just mm, get the 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 barbecue, the physical, physical food. meat. Mm -hmm. We came with some spiritual, spiritual meat. meat for you because unfortunately y'all y'all can't all eat that roast yeah for real <laughs> but y'all can eat this spiritual meat that's right y'all can lock y'all can listen to these spiritual bars that we're dropping <laughs> yeah. so y'all just take that and chew on it that's all right. right so we're gonna uh we're walking back down the cane out to the pond this is what where date night looks like for us we lead the kids down that way take walks you know go sit at the pond that's just the things we like to do that might not be what you like to do you might like to dress up fancy and you know, go places, but uh, we had this beautiful land, and uh, we worked so hard, so we like to enjoy the fruit of our labor. I leave the kids down there playing, they're safe. You know, we have it set up nice for them. The dogs are there to protect them, even though the dogs are with us. Yeah. We're down here just walking and spending time with the Lord. We're gonna go back in a couple hours and get this meat off the grill and just fellowship as a family. We'll just pick y'all up a little bit later once the meat is done. Got the camera set up, so there's not gonna be no arguing about who won. Gonna be a photo finish. Let's see who's gonna win. Let's see. Let's see. Ty, I think you came in last, Ty. You, you must ain't got your bike warmed up yet. All right, y'all, we're finishing things off out here. You can see the moon is back there behind us, the amazing moon. And uh, we got a little while longer before we take the, the meat off the grill, but it's getting dark. And uh, we're getting ready to take the meat off the grill, and then we'll just meet y'all inside of Emma, and we'll take a look at it and see if it's gonna be pulled pork or if it's gonna be sliced pork. <laughs> All right, y'all, we have the meat inside. And then Megan has already started cutting in it on this side. I know, yeah. See what that yeah, smoke ring looks like. Oh, oh yeah, got all the smoke ring. You don't get your piece off me and taste uh -huh. it. I, I tasted it already. I had to put it off the grill a little bit early because it got dark. Oh. What do you think? 
Oh, no. <laughs> it is good. Will you marry me? I will. <laughs> It's, it's super good, like oh, super duper. Mm. It's 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 a guy that has a deep smoke mm. and that bark. Crispy. It's crispy. The tender, but tender, yeah, super mm. tender. It, it, it is not because I took it off before it got to that uh pulled pork stage. Now some of the parts are pulled pork, where you can probably pull them apart, but I I, I got the temperature around one seventy five, one eighty. For pulled pork, you're supposed to get it around one ninety to two hundred somewhere in that area. But as you see. It got dark on us, and it's pitch black out there. Mm. <laughs> so I went on ahead and got a little bit of char on there, and uh, we're just gonna, like I said, some, some parts will be able to use pulled pork, and that was kind of the plan anyway, to use about half of it for pulled pork, yeah. and then half of it for roast, you know, just sliced pieces of meat. Mm -hmm. And then Megan made some uh, baked beans with the sausage that we smoked on the grill. So we have baked beans, and we have half pulled pork, half <laughs> sliced roast meat, and that tastes good. We didn't even put any sauce on this, it's just Tony seasoning, as y'all saw from I put a little barbecue sauce on it later, but it's just Tony seasoning and just throwing it on the grill with some good old pecan that smoke. It's good. So it's good? It's good. I love it's it. So good. <laughs> Smoke ring. Mm hmm. That looks good. Somebody don't know nothing about smoke meat to be scared of that. Oh, yeah. Looks good. So we got the half cut that mm -hmm. we're going to use for, yeah. for eating tonight. Mm -hmm. And then we got our roast half. It took me about seven, six, seven hours to smoke yeah. this. And I needed about eight to really finish it off, you know, because mm -hmm. it, it jumps in temperature for that last hour. But uh, I started around two o'clock. It's around seven now, mm -hmm. going on eight. And uh, yeah, so. I can't stop eating this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's end this video so Meg can get her food and us. Get, to get her food in here and get to get the boys fed and so we can go and go to bed for the night. <laughs> Baby, we ain't even here, y'all. It's IG Farms. We'll see y'all on the next one. We got me. Let's me know there's a heaven up there. Yeah, he's reaching out his hand to me to wash away my tears. Oh, oh I know you and I praise you. Got my arms open for your love. Oh, oh I want you. from up above they sing hallelujah they sing hallelujah I can see though my eyes are all closed yeah he gives me strength carry on and always lets me know that I'm fine just the way he made me every perfect imperfection is all because of him oh, oh I know you and I praise you got my arms open for your love oh oh I want Sing hallelujah. Oh. They sing hallelujah.